I am Romika Spiegel Jones. I am a graphic designer and illustrator based in Manchester. And some of you might know I've been on holidays in uh, North East England, Yorkshire. And I've picked up some really nice things and I really wanted to show you like a little haul video. And if you like illustration, if you like quirky kind of things that I like, I'm pretty sure you would find something nice here. So stay tuned. So some of the things I show you are um, gifts for other people. So that's why I want to film it just right after we came back today. So I, I will give them away. Others are for myself and others are I haven't even bought. I found them on the beach. So just want to show you some nice inspiration. I think as a graphic designer or illustrator or creative, it is actually very important to immerse yourself with your surroundings and be interested in many other things. And not just design, don't just look at design magazines, don't just look at illustration magazines, look around you. Look at everything you see and really be interested in many things. So I like to collect stones, so that's why I show you my stone collection first. Um, I find them beautiful because of their shape, they're naturally formed and the colors are interesting and just the whole history. If you're looking for colors or color schemes, look at nature. I know you would find many other perfectly arranged things, but for true inspiration, look at nature, look at natural things. Yeah, I just love looking for interesting shapes and stones at the beach. So that's my little, little collection and it's growing. Next is something for all you hardworking freelancers or creators who need to relax and love nice, wonderful handmade soaps. And these ones are, I feel, really reminded me of Lush and I love Lush, but these ones are from a family run business uh, in Whitby. This is also on the Yorkshire coast. And I was so impressed by the shop design. It was so beautiful. <coughs> Excuse me. It was so beautiful. And they were really creative. The, there were many different designs and the price was really acceptable. I think amazing. I, I actually kept the address and you can find them below. I would order from them, I think, <laughs> even from the distance. I'm sure they would ship. I'll ask them about that. So the first thing I picked up um, is for my sister-in-law. And this is this. Um, like an amber soap. So it's violet, orange blossom and amber soap. And it's by Honey's. So Honey's is the shop and I really recommend looking at them if you ever in Whitby. Whitby is a beautiful town and this is beautiful. <laughs> the next one is Rhubar Rhubarb, Rhubarb? Rhubarb. <laughs> Rhubarb and Custard Soap. And oh my goodness, it doesn't just look amazing, it smells really nice too. And again, same manufacturer, Whitby family um, in Whitby. Honey's. And yeah, this is beautiful. And this is also for my nice sister-in-law as a present. And the next one is a treat for me and her husband. And this is a bath bomb. And this, I don't know how this was called, I think. But it's kind of smelling like the ocean. Kind of an interpretation at least. It doesn't smell like seaweed or anything. Ah, oh, so nice. I love the colors. Have a look. Little, I don't know. You can't, yes, you can't really see it here, but they are beautifully made and really affordable, much cheaper than Lush and the family run business. So if you want to support them, check out their shop. Next, I want to show you something really cute I picked up uh, in Scarborough. Actually, it was a present for me um, by a very nice friend. And it was a really cute shop. Um, I think everything was crocheted and they do custom things. So I also do recommend if you have anything you would like to be made, then check out their Facebook page, which I also uh, link below. This cute little mushroom. It's very shiny and yeah, it's handmade by a mother and a daughter. They have a little little shop at the harbour in Scarborough. 
so I got this as a present and I really like it. It's very sparkly and cute and it's quite big and I usually don't have keychains this size. Um, but this is for my husband's memory stick and I think because we lose it so often it's hard to find something like this it would be very helpful. So, you know, I like practical things and just thought why not use it for this. Next. <laughs> I loved this shop. This was also Scarborough. So this is like a little tour of England. If you ever end up in the north um, east, I always have to think because we're in the northwest, in the northeast uh, in, in Yorkshire and on the coast, you need to check out these shops. This one is Angela and Rosie and I loved the shop. It's like a little vintage shop. Um, I think I even, I picked up a card as well. And this is the shop. It's Angela and Rosie, a treasure trove of unusual delights in the heart of Scarborough to suit all pockets. Vintage clothing and accessories, high quality art and crafts, framed prints, greeting cards, quirky textile jewelry, and lots of great I gift items for all. And I do think this is actually a really good description. It's very descriptive actually, isn't it? <laughs> but um, So I went there and this is such cute packaging, don't you think? Ah, I mean, Yes, I know we just throw these things away, but if you want to leave an impression and you're a small independent shop, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. This is beautiful. So I'll unwrap this for you and then I'll show you what I bought. I love that it's the two colors as well. I don't know, little detail, but makes me happy. <laughs> okay, so. Da, 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 da. This. Cute little ceramic house uh, has been made by Claire Norris. I'll also link her below because actually I really want to check out her other stuff. And in this beautiful shop, I just couldn't resist. This is, if I look at something three times, I know I want it and I would regret not getting it. Whereas sometimes I just kind of look at stuff and it's not so interesting to me. I kind of like practical things and maybe it's not the most practical thing. But this, I don't know, this, the, the design is just so beautiful, it's so simple, so reduced and this black glazing is just, I don't know, the contrast between this matte um, kind of white ceramic and is it ceramic or is it clay? I'm sorry if I'm not so knowledgeable about this actually, but this glazing is just, it's just beautiful. It doesn't... I bet you, if you're a designer, things like this make you happy or you will have something that makes you happy when you see it. I just find this very cute and I hope you can see it well. Yeah, I don't know. Do -do, do -do, do -do. I'll find a home for this. I like it, so this is for me. And the lady in Angela and Rosie was so cute. So nice and so friendly and I really recommend if you like quirky beautiful things she has things you don't find anywhere else really I haven't seen anything generic in there they're very beautiful and unique I like it and she's nice so I say hello to her and next to something more practical um, I have a little problem with my wisdom tooth teeth actually with one wisdom tooth and I need to use these little interdental toothbrushes, right? Whoever you who had braces kind of knows these little things, I hope. They're very practical. If not, if you have braces, check them out. They're good. Um, anyway, so I always replace this little head, this little brush head. And they all are, they are always everywhere. I can't really find a place to keep them well. And in this place, uh, it's called Homebird. They have all kinds of interior products, lamps, and also paper products. Um, I don't know. It's a very beautiful, quirky shop. They maybe have a little bit more... I wouldn't say generic. They have quite a few things that I recognize, like certain illustrators I recognize. They're not local there, maybe. Um, maybe from the UK, but a bit bigger. They have very beautiful paper, very beautiful cards. And it's called Homebird in Scarborough and it's led by an interior designer for already three years 
And I think you should also have a look there if you like the quirky gifts. And I bought this little box. It's a metal box. I feel like I need to figure out a way to show you this better. So this is the little box. And it said my sweet tooth. Actually, it's not for my sweet tooth, but it doesn't matter. Um, I found I liked the illustration. Such a cute illustration, very simple. I'm not switching to pink, but who cares? It was pink. And my little toothbrushes are in here. Last but not least. <laughs> so, another quirky cute shop. And this one is in Filey. And it's uh, owned by Susan Jenkinson. And it's called The Red Box. So I'll also link that below. And her shop is also very cute. And she just has a different range of products. And I also think that her things are also quite unique. Harder to find somewhere else, really. And I think she also um, tries to promote local artists. This one, I just loved. So this artist is Tracy Savage. And she has a gallery. I think, where was it? Hornsea. So I haven't been in this gallery. And I've never heard about her before, but oh my goodness, her style is incredible. I think she captures the spirit of Yorkshire coast, of the Yorkshire coast, and Scarborough and many other places so beautifully. I could even recognize it looks like Whitby or it looks like Scarborough, even though I'm not local and I don't know so much about the area yet. Um, and the shop owner, um, Susan, was also very passionate about her and I'd love to visit Tracy's gallery. I picked up this card. Um, it's called Pink Tree House and it's taken from an original painting by Tracy Savage and I will link her website below as well. You should have a look at her stuff. Just Even just for inspiration she has her color choice, her the motives, they have they're almost political in a way. Um, critical but at the same time dreamy and I don't know I love these things that tell a story and she definitely does she has this really cute quirky style she also does children's books and this is the one about Scarborough um, come on they're beautiful don't you think I love them okay so I did forget some things it's a long haul. I hope you like it anyways. Tell me what you think, if you like the products. Um, I bought them all with my own money or they were a gift or nature provided them. Yes. So, yes. Anyways. <laughs> so, I have to say that I, I had the determination to paint and do a sketchbook, which I did. And not as regularly as I wish I would have. But to be honest with you, it sometimes was really cold and very foggy and filey at that time. But I still captured... It's like a drawn diary. Just like a little sneaky preview. And... I ran out of... My, I basically brought my old sketchbook by accident. One that was completely full and only had a few pages left. And I was just like, why did I do this? Anyways, it happens. I didn't look. I was uh, probably in a rush at that time. But I went to Ryman's. I don't know if you know Ryman's. If you're based in the UK, you know Ryman's. And I don't know how you feel, but I love their own collection of sketchbooks. The sketchbooks, not the notebooks specifically. Uh, the paper quality is good. I think it's 110 grams per square meter. And so I wouldn't paint loads on it, but like for small sketches, I think it's okay. I will test it. I haven't painted anything yet, just pencil sketches. But I've used them before and this is the two sizes I bought. Again, I have so many of them already. I use them for uni all the time. I just love them. They have this little uh, rubber band that wraps around them. And 
seriously, they are really good. I'm so unhappy if they don't have them anymore. I need to write them a letter if they ever stop <laughs> having them. Because they are really affordable and so beautifully made. I think, I mean, maybe it's not your moleskin sketchbook or anything, but if you are on a student or small business budget, and these ones are perfectly fine and they're good and they're wonderful and I love soft covers. Yes. So I picked up these two and I'm doing a sketchbook tour of this very soon so stay tuned for that as well. Um, maybe after my other holiday but I'm yeah you will see this in the upcoming video. The last thing is not related to anything artsy but I do believe that many of you would love to travel or love traveling and for the first time in 10 years I'm going back to Croatia with my family, my Austrian family and I'm so looking forward to this, I haven't been there for so long and we're going back to this old little um, apartment where we know the people and they rent it to us and it's just for a few days and it's in driving distance from Austria. So I bought these beach shoes, they're from Sports Direct and <clears throat> they have a deal on at the moment. And so I shared with my sister-in-law and we bought both a pair and they were two for nine quid. I mean, seriously, that is incredible for beach shoes. And um, my husband already had them in his best friend, so they liked them and I think I will test them and I hope they will, they will be good. They're called the Hot Tuna, it's a Hot Tuna brand and yeah, I want to protect my feet. I have very sensitive feet and there are a lot of sea urchins. Okay, that was it. I hope it's not too long. I hope you enjoyed this. I actually start to enjoy making videos, not too shy anymore. So yeah, please subscribe if you like design, illustration, traveling of just a beautiful life. And I hope you will take on this creative journey with me. So yeah, I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.